What's up nerds and virgins, it's your boy Ape Crypto, back again with another CNFT video. And today I'll be covering two projects that are minting this week and I believe have serious potential. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I have videos coming almost every single day. So if you want to keep up with the CNFT space, this is the channel for you. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description to ultimately keep up with CNFT news, CNFT discussions, and to keep up with updates quicker than you get them on YouTube because on Twitter, I can just post it and there's no editing process. So this video today, I'll be elaborating on two projects that I mentioned in this video about two days ago in the biggest week in CNFT history. Already covered Crypto Dino and I've covered and I've covered Pavia a bunch of times. So now I'll be covering Nerds and Virgins and Lunars, which are both dropping this week on the 26th of November. So let's start with Nerds and Virgins. So as most of you know, this is my own project. As you can see in the team section, I am the founder and creator of Nerds and Virgins. So bear in mind that I may be biased, but for the sake of this video, I'll try to stay as professional as possible and cover this like I would with any other project. So just to recap for those who don't know, Nerds and Virgins is a collection of 10,000 NFTs on the Cardano blockchain, representing Cardano community in a humorous way across multiple seasons. And we are going with this geeky college nerd theme for season one. Each nerd has unique traits, but they all share one thing in common in their virginity. Every nerd's dream to get laid before they graduate, so the nerds are in on the hunt. They are dressed to impress the ladies, but will they meet the right one? So as you can see in the description and our art that we're playing on this nerdy theme with sexual themes involved. This is funny, this is humorous, and it has seemed to reciprocate with a lot of the Cardano community because the theme hits close to home. It's something that we can laugh at and it's something that we can all enjoy, even if you're neither a nerd or a virgin, but they are bonus points. And along with this awesome theme, we also have high quality art to match it, which has gone down well and a lot of the CNFT community appreciate this. And that's ultimately why this project stands out. We were originally meant to have our initial launch on the 10th of November at 5 p.m. UTC, but we had to knock it back just over two weeks to correct some internal issues that we missed before the initial launch. Of course, this was disappointing and I was personally heartbroken by this, but since then we have bounced back and have found a new day in the 26th of November at 5 p.m. UTC. Despite being disappointed in the delay, our community response has been well and our project is looking very well with Discord and Twitter engagement doing good, as well as just the vibe in itself in our community being fantastic, which is exactly what you want pre-launch. This week as well, we've actually partnered with none other than Lucky Planet, which is another CNFT project, which is hugely popular, to do a one-of-one -one Nerd and Virgin and Lucky Planet collaboration, aka a Lucky Nerd. As you can see on the screen, it looks fantastic. And we're giving this away in our Discord quiz competition. Whoever wins the competition will receive Lucky Nerd. Second place will receive a Nerd and Virgin and third place will receive a Cardano Kiwi. As one of our team members, Christian is the founder and creator of Cardano Kiwis. So if you're interested in the quiz and you fancy your chances with your big nerdy brain, I'll leave a link to our Discord in the description. So with the mint being a couple of days away, why do I honestly feel like nerds and versions will succeed? Well, first of all, like I elaborated before, the art and the theme speak for themselves. It's high quality art and it is just a funny theme and it was also relatable to many people in this space. And if not, people just simply find it funny. It's lighthearted and that's a key to success. Another reason is our community size and our community engagement, which is always good showing that there's demand for these NFTs and as well as our nerd perks, which are the benefits of ownership, pretty much our reward system. We've outlined the rewards for future drops and for holding nerds and virgins. And I believe these are huge incentives to hold. And if people are holding, they aren't selling, which in turn creates value for these NFTs, which is my plan and my intention to reward all you awesome people holding onto this project. So by holding Nerds and Virgins Season 1, you get exclusive access to limited releases, exclusive access to every seasonal release, every season whitelist, and the chance of rewards via merchandise and visible collectibles in the future. And it is very advantageous to hold a Nerd and Virgin from Season 1. These are our core NFTs, and as we nerds value loyalty, pretty much Diamond Hands will be rewarded. That's my whole philosophy behind this, as if you're holding on to these, I personally want to reward you. We've seen this be successful with projects like Grumpy Bunny, 
Clay Nation and many other projects. This is a key form of utility that is ultimately crucial. So there's three reasons why nodes and virgins I believe will succeed. Whether we succeed or not is up to your interpretation and as well as if you're interested or not as well. Of course, I cannot guarantee anything, but our team and I are doing the best to make this as successful as possible. But ultimately, it's always up to the community, which is the awesome part about NFTs at the end of the day. If you're interested in Nerds and Virgins, I'll leave the link to our website, our Discord, and as well as our Twitter, so you can check this out and do your own research. I know it's my own project, but don't listen to what I'm saying. Do your own research and find out yourself if you want to mint these Nerds and Virgins on the 26th of November at 5pm UTC. The next project that is minting on the 26th of November, Lunars, in their last drop in Dark Lunars, which, like their first drop, looks fantastic. So, after you've minted your Nerds and Virgins, five hours later, the Dark Lunars Mint is live, which makes for a stacked day for CNFTs. This is another awesome project, and this is a project that I've covered before, and I am still big on. This is the second half of their collection, and I personally cannot wait to get my hands on these, given I have a bit of time after the Nerds and Virgins Mint. Fingers crossed I do, but if not, I'll sweep some of these off the secondary. So, one thing that I really like about Lunars is they have been really active in between their initial drop, which was 6,666 legendary Lunar characters, and they have smashed these two drops in between. So what they did in between is one, they partnered with Space Buds, which as most of you know, is the biggest CNFT project in history. So that is massive. And they did this for a charitable drop with 250 NFTs known as the Space Lunars Drop. And like everything else Lunars have touched, they look fantastic. And of course, partnering with Space Buds, this was a huge release and it has done very well since. I'm pretty sure these sold out in seconds. They did another small mint release with Cypher Kicks, which is another hugely successful CNFT project based around sneakers. So if you're into sneakers, this is the project for you. And again, these looked amazing and they did very well. So that was really good to see that the Lunas team literally have had no rest in between drops and they have been working overtime. This is good for the community and building the project. And as well as doing that, if you've been in their Discord and you've seen their Twitter feed, they are always active, always commenting, and they are one of the most active projects within the community. So that's a bonus as well. And this reflects in their growth and their size and their passion of their community. So given the art quality, the previous success of Lunars, the team's activity, and the team's activity, I'm very bullish on Lunars and their Dark Lunars drop. I believe this is their last release as well, which will be interesting to see what the future holds from here. This is their last release, but it doesn't necessarily mean this is the last thing to come from them. Hopefully they come out with merchandise and just a couple awesome things like that to reward holders. The team are awesome, so I've no doubt they will come up with something very cool. The mint price for these Lunars is 50 ADA, and there will be 6,666 NFTs with 5,000 available for public mint. So I expect these to go very fast given the size of the community and the success of the previous drops. The release is on the 26th of November at 10 p.m. UTC. And if you're interested in this drop and you want to do your own research, I'll leave the link in the description, the Discord and their Twitter. I recommend you check that out because doing your own research and not listening to a YouTuber is always a pretty good idea. So there you have it, the 26th of November, Here's your schedule. Busy day for an already busy week with Pavia and Crypto Dino dropping, which you can find here on my channel, details for these drops. So yeah, a big week and a big day in particular on the 26th. Nodes and Virgins dropping at 5 p.m. UTC on the 26th and the Dark Lunars dropping at 10 p.m. UTC on the 26th. So let me know in the comments below, will you be minting both of these? And will you be minting Crypto Dino? Will you be minting Pavia? Let me know in the comments below. All four drops this week, I'm very excited for and I cannot wait to get my hands on these. So let me know what you're doing. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you all found it valuable. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you liked this video and most importantly, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss anything. I'm coming with CNFT content often, so this is something you do not want to miss out on. I'm Ape Crypto, the leader of Nerds and Versions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>